www.speedbuild.co.uk Hello and welcome everybody to a new speed build tutorial. Today we uh, will have a quick look at how to make 3D text meshes in Blender. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial I am using Blender number uh, 2.6.1 um, and we will start with a clean canvas remove the one uh, little cube we have and then Blender has a built-in text uh, tool which you can access pretty easily if you are in object mode. Um, Shift A to bring up the add menu and then you have a selection that is called text which very conveniently already places an object that spells text to your um, board. Now this text can be further edited. If you switch to edit mode first off you can type in any text you want. Let's call this test. And then you can pretty much selected like you would in a, in a text editor. And on the right hand panel we have a text tool um, called Object Data where you can change among other things the font of the text. Um, and you can choose different fonts for regular bold italic and bold and italic. Um, for demonstration purposes we just change the regular font. You can do that by clicking on the folder and then going to your fonts. In my case because I'm on a Mac there in the library under fonts either in your user library or in the um, system library system library is system library fonts um, let's choose Helvetica hmm, no, I wanted a different one New Roman. Looks like this. As you can see, it's not entirely three dimensional yet um, <clears throat> because this is rather a flat surface that spells test. You can change this by changing the ge geometry of the text. Um, extruding, like everything else in, in Blender, makes it more three dimensional. Let's extrude it. 0 0.1 which makes it look a little bit more um, three-dimensional. You can bevel it and uh, this is your test text. Now, to bring this into OpenSim, we will need to save it as a Conada file. To do so, first, you will need to convert this into an object mesh. You can do that by selecting Object, um,
convert to and then select mesh from curve meta surf text that's what we want to do we make want to make a mesh from the text so now if you go to edit mode you will see vertices instead of the text editor also up here it'll show the number of vertices edges and faces this object consists of um, this is pretty vertex heavy but for the purposes of this speed build we'll leave it at that now you can simply go to file export choose a collada and then we'll save it in our folder we now go to open sim and um, click on world no build upload mesh model Choose our mesh model. Here, as usual, we get a preview window. This is our text. You can pretty much leave everything the way it is. Click on Calculate Rates and Fee. It'll take a while until it returns with a result. And then we click on upload. This again takes a little bit. The, the amount of time this takes is dependent on the complexity of the mesh. But finally you'll end up with your object in here. Let's res this. There we go. 3D text meshes. As you can see, this thing is treated as one object. That means you can only stretch it as a whole. You cannot stretch individual characters. If you want it to be uh, different objects for each character, what you need to do is to let's make a new one text T make a new object for every um, character let's start by making this one uh, and then duplicate it so that you have in Blender for every letter individual objects. All of these you can select and then again um, <coughs> convert to meshes.
and select in total and also export as a collada um, so that when you now go and import your mesh model uh, again this takes a little bit You will see that it is a linked object with every, if you unlink it, every letter is their own object. And you can scale, stretch, and uh, move them individually. That was everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is vftjb.co.uk.